Alrighty guys, welcome back to another walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. I am here at Badata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. And today we're taking a quick peek at a 2012 Tiffin Allegro Bus 43 QGP. I'm pretty sure that's the right model number. They got some crazy ones. We're gonna run through the exterior here, check out all the compartments, tire sizes, things like that. Then we'll jump inside and see what that has to offer. This coach is about 43 feet, six inches long. It is a quad slide tag axle diesel pusher. It does have a 450 horsepower Cummins in it with the 3000 Allison transmission. First up, big old Toyo tires, exceeded size down at the bottom, 295, ADR, 22 fives. These are dated 3619, so late 2019, coming up on two years old. Right below, you'll also be able to see a dual fill, um, fuel fill, dual fuel fill. My gosh, I think it's a uh, hundred gallons, maybe 120, I'll double check. You got three awnings on this coach that are electric. You got one over the door, and if I step back, you got one up there, it's a Paramount awning, and you can see the kind of the little divider in the middle. The back part is an awning too, so that's a big option, is two Paramount kind of seamless awnings, and you can't even see the roof or the AC. It's a great look for these coaches. It does also have window awnings around the majority of the windows. You'll see, I think, four of them on this coach. First compartment here, we got your fridge freezer is what they call it. Kind of nice to have, is also on a slide. So you can just push that in and out of the way. Next up, got a full pass-through slide tray, and that will go both ways. They did opt to only do one slide tray instead of doing two, but you could put an additional one right there. See, there's also a couple screens in there, some extra tiles for the uh, towel floor inside. Your aqua hot system, 450D model. Water fill right there. And you can see your tag back here. This is a six airbag system. It's on the Tiffin Power Glide chassis. Automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. It is after 2011, so you do have depth to fill. You got a couple batteries back here, mainly chassis batteries, and a whole lot of electronics and wiring. All right. Now on the rear here, got quite a ladder up to the top. You need a 13-foot garage to store this thing comfortably. 10,000-pound hitch on the back with a 7-pin connector. I'll show you inside there. It is a side radiator. But first, let's jump up the ladder and see what's up there. Alrighty, up on top, you can see all three AC systems, the spotlight. Looks like they got a WineGuard satellite on it, a couple Max Force covers, and you can see slide toppers throughout. I'm replacing the slide topper on that front passenger slide. All right, let's go back down. All right, put the ladder back in its home. Forgot to point out the outdoor entertainment. A little 32 inch TV with a sound bar. All right. So let me show you, it is not a rear radiator. It is a side radiator, so it is incredibly easy to access the block. easy to check your oil, change your oil, get to the filters. I do love me a good side radiator. All right, making our way on over to the driver's side. See that side radiator there, 50 amp power service right above it. Windows in the center of the slide and also painted. Good feature to point out. Dump station, gray and black. Oh, I love the hand soap area. Full coach water filter, a couple water pumps. Is this on a reel? It is, so your water hose is on a reel too. Very cool. And I'm pretty sure the power, yeah, it's on a reel too for the power cord. All right, next up, this is the other side of that aqua hot system. You got a central vac system in there and a little bit Technician stuff, the other side of that pass-through storage. The other other side of that pass-through storage with the full slide-out tray. I know we were getting there eventually, all your, all your house batteries. There's a few of them in there. And by a few, I mean six. Eight total batteries in the coach. Hydraulic pump. And then finally, 
mainly electrical wiring area. There's a gen, um, gen release in here, and then of course your windshield wiper fluid. Let's see the other side of that fuel fill. This coach does have side vision cameras and a backup camera. Initially, it came with some type of film on the front kind of fiberglass cap here to keep it you know, protected from rocks. They went with a different style. They uh, did this separately. It almost looks like a bed liner up front. It doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't look bad, but it does have a couple chips. As you can see where the gin slides in and out, right there, and I think some on the left side up top. Send the point out. Now next up, your generator. Is a Cummins Onan 10,000. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get out of the sun. Just under 209 hours on that. <laughs> yeah. All right. And that is the extent of the exterior here. So now it's time to see what you guys have been waiting for. Thank you for making noise in the background. Jeez. All right. A couple steps in. We do have a screen door right here. And you got a couple more steps in. We do have a, a pull-out drawer right there. And then an air-powered step cover. And here, right when we walk in, your first look. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're going to go through everything in this coach. Let's start up front. Leveling system. Some of your buttons there. What does that do? Whoa! Oh, well, that's pretty fancy. You don't see too many... Uh, well, Ideos meal. Still pretty cool. I've never seen that side kind of motorized window. That was an awesome feature. Engine brake, air horn, suspension up and down, standard stuff, lights, engine preheat. Odometer, 12,084 miles. Beautiful. Backup camera, and of course side vision cameras does have the nav option. You can see all your other fun buttons here. Step cover. Whoosh. And then also, what do we got? Shade. So let's show you the solar shade first. There we go. And then the night shade. And the motor's on, so they're probably going to stop about there. Yeah. Map light, dock light, radio for the power right there. A couple drawers down below. And then over on the passenger side, they have a little pull-out desk area and an area to store stuff under. <clears throat> passenger and driver's seat are both power. Passenger does have a leg rest that comes out with a push of a button. And of course, they both do turn. Very nice. Flex steel seats. A little bit of extra stitching than your standard Class A diesel pusher. And they are in great condition. A little bit of storage above, nothing too crazy. I won't show you everything but some of the important ones with the aqua hot system and slide controls and inverter and wine guard. And oh my gosh, it keeps going. And then over here on the right side, nothing in there, but you do have kind of like a, <laughs> I think it's a Blu-ray player. And then an area to put all types of other stuff, a game console, DVD player, if you're old school, VHS, if you're really old school. Now, believe it or not, you're probably wondering why this rear view camera is here. It is an option. Man, I think it's mainly for temperature and to keep an eye on the heathens behind you if you got anybody going crazy. All right, that is the cockpit. Now, let's turn around and just check out the gloriousness of this coach. Once again, quad slide. So our first slide, that corner all the way down, right past the fridge. Next slide, that corner all the way down, right past the sink. And two more in the bedroom. This is a bath and a half model. So you have a the full bath all the way in the rear, kind of dividing it before the bedroom. You do have your half bath. <clears throat> this also, I think, was an option. There's, I got a printout for you so you guys can see some of the options on this coach. But there was like 13 different combinations to put in this slide. So they have a freestanding kind of table, I guess, with a desk area. You can see the serious power hookup. They were doing some work out of here. With a couple filing drawers. Look at all the paperwork this guy kept. Whew. And then over here is the booth dinette. Does turn into a sleeper. Does have storage down below. A couple of these drawers. 
and then storage all above. Those are all connected, and then those should all be connected. Let me at least show you one. There you go. Very cool. All right. Now, this is my printout on our actual website. Give you some of the info on the coach and the price, 220. Here is the exact floor plan. Next up, the specs I got from the brochure. So I'll try to go through this as slowly as possible so you can see what I highlighted. But you may have to pause it a couple times. And then finally, I did try to go through and highlight the actual options or just things I thought were slightly important to know. See that window on him behind that dinette? Looks great. Looks great. So, the end of the slide is going to be, of course, your French door refrigerator. It is an electric only fridge. Got to keep that in mind when you are traveling, depending on where you are traveling. And then, left of the fridge, oh, something to point out. There is a little, little, little dent in the fridge freezer. TV right there, I think it's a 37 inch. No fireplace below. You could put one in if you really wanted to. That was one of the other options. These people were probably around a hot area and didn't really think they needed it. All right. Next slide out, like I said, it's this whole kind of kitchen and couch. They do have these little cute little storage areas. Leather ultra deluxe sofa with a pull-out mattress in there. Once again, overhead storage, all connected for those three. And we make our way over to the kitchen. Kitchen does have a expand island, I think is what they call it. And then look how deep these drawers are. That is insane. There's three of those drawers. Bottom one is a little bit bigger. And then up above that, I love how they do this too. They got a couple pull out drawers make it easy for storing stuff or storing stuff in the back i should say corian tops throughout this whole coach even in the bathrooms real backsplash dual power hookups glass top and two burner induction cooktop with the optional washer washing machine down below and of course i always call this pots and pans storage without an oven i'm not sure maybe a couple pans for that sink is a residential dual bay metal sink look how deep it is very nice with corian top covers of course they are heavy with one hand down below we do have an area to store the corian there a little stand on the carpet and then of course finally got a couple more drawers there three of them and you got one more sliding drawer above the sink very nice now you do have a convection microwave because there is no oven so you got that, maybe buy a cookbook, figure out how to cook in it. Okay, making our way back. I think I still have the motor started. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but you can control all your shades from this little button, which is very nice. So if we turn around, you'll see, you can't, I won't see it after that one, but the nightshade's coming down on those windows. One of my favorite features in these Tiffins or just newer diesel pushes in general, all electric. Yes, of course, it is something else to go wrong, but it is just a great kind of convenience feature. Got your dustpan down below for the central vac, and the input for the central vac is right there. And everything else, you know, light controls, fantastic fan. There is one other thing I gotta show you. I show it every time we get one. Let me put you on pause and run to the front. All right, so up front in the front cab of the coach, right by the passenger seat, you got these entry controls. I love the master light off and on. I don't know why, it's one of my favorite features in a coach. It's very easy to do, very basic. It's on a lot of these new ones, but it is a great feature. All right, so half bath behind here, behind this magic door number two, we have your full stack washer and dryer, splendid series, your half bath, windows a little messed up, China toilet, oh, we left the fan open, son of a gun. I got that's what all this junk is. Just a little, a little windy the last couple days. Get one of the gals over to clean that up. And then a little bit of storage down below. Nothing too crazy, but we do, of course, have your toilet paper storage above the toilet. 
All right, so there's the half bath. Now I'm making our way into the bedroom. We do have a separating door right here for here and then of course for the bathroom too. Slide for the mattress. And then right in front of the mattress, we have one for the entertainment and storage area. This one's not super deep, probably only about 18 inches, maybe two, two and a half feet on the driver's side. So entertainment center, of course, 32 inch TV area down below is mainly in my opinion for like uh, more cable boxes or you know Blu-ray players, things like that. They do call this a clothes hamper. I agree. That was highlighted on my list. And then you got four of those drawers. All right, behind us, upgraded King mattress. It is an air mattress, so you can see the little controller right there. We do have a ceiling fan above us, and that is what the button is right below that controller. I don't know why I didn't turn any of the lights on back there. Sometimes I just question things that I do. There you go, there they were. Now all four of these I think are connected. Yeah, so all four storages above the bed are gonna be connected. And I don't remember, let's see if there's any under bed storage. Let's see if I can lift it up with one hand. There is. A little bit, I guess. It looks like it's about two inches wide, about 18 inches deep. So you can fit a lot of blankets, a lot of linens, things like that in there. Now finally, the master bathroom. So the op another option was tiled floor throughout the bedroom into the bathroom and they went with that. The only carpet in this coach is gonna be on the slides as you can see. Try to step back so you can see this bathroom. Now, dual vanity, like I said, same Corian tops throughout, same backsplash, real backsplash I should say. Whole lot of storage in this bathroom. Four of those drawers, two storages under, medicine cabinet, not super deep, but you got it. And then even this, Oh, breaker box, no wonder it's not storage. China toilet. What is this? Okay, it is fiberglass. It's just more of a, a kind of a, like a painted fiberglass. Not painted, but. And a one piece shower with a skylight. And check out the skylight. The skylight's pretty cool. Very nice. If you're short like me, you don't even need it open, but it does let in a lot of ambient light. Once again, toilet paper storage. And last but not least, we have your rear closet. So as you can see, it's open throughout the whole thing. Got wardrobe hangers there, safe in the back, it was an option. Storage for shoes or the hose for the central back system. Yeah, very nice. If you have any want or need to see this, you're welcome to pause it. 49,900 pounds loaded. That's a heavy coach. All right, guys. That about does it for me. Let me re refresh your memory on what we're looking at. 2012 Tiff and Allegro bus, 43 QGP, 43 foot tag axle diesel pusher, 450 Cummins, quad slide, Allison 3000 series transmission. Beautiful coach. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Hopefully you learned something or hopefully it answered a question you had about this specific floor plan. If you do have any additional questions, go ahead, comment down below. If you are interested in buying this coach, email me, taylor at pedatarvcenter.com or give us a call. All the info will be in the description down below. Thank you so much for viewing. Hope you all have a great day.